Welcome back to the Union Buildings, the colourful Union Buildings this morning and the hot Union Buildings, I'll have you know. I am dressed for the middle of winter, but thank goodness it's not the middle of winter as yet. It's a beautiful day here. The sun is shining. It's out with a vengeance, which I suppose make these colours even brighter in the sun. It's just absolutely beautiful. We're here to break the Guinness World Book of Records. We spoke to the lady from the, uh, the, the Guinness World Records a bit earlier on the programme. She explained to us how long the longest blanket hand knitted blanket in the world is and there's a whole bunch of rules that have to be applied and of course they've got to ensure that these rules are applied here today so you'll see all of these people as uh, as the cameras get these shots for you they're on their knees they are sewing these blankets together to ensure that this breaks the record uh, the amazing thing is the previous record holder is by South Africans as well. So we are trying to break our own world record and all for a good cause. These blankets are going to be distributed around the country to those in need in this cold, cold time that we're about to approach. All right, so let's talk to some more people that have gathered here at the Union Buildings this morning to get involved in this campaign and to also show their support. So I, no introduction, I suppose, at this point. Voter Kellerman. I mean, Voter is just this man who likes to keep winning awards. Volta, three summers. Yes, thank you. It's uh, it's been a, absolutely amazing, a, a total blessing. You know, it's just I'm overwhelmed. I'm so proud of you. So I mean, you come back from the Grammys, you win a Grammy, then you come back, and then of course your own country celebrates you, and that is important. It's wonderful the world stage to celebrate you, but to get Grammys for so what are the categories that you won again? Um, well, the Grammy I won for best new age, yeah, and, that and, I know. and but here are the Summers, <laughs> the Summers now, the Summers best instrumental slash classical album. Album, yeah. uh, best producer of the year okay. and then the International Achievement Award. That is fantastic. So congratulations from all of us. That Thank is just you. such a brilliant, brilliant thing. Yeah. All right, then we've got Miss South Africa. Uh, it's so nice to have you on the program as well. And I, I haven't seen you to congratulate you because the last time I saw you, you were all in studio and we were just introducing you to South Africa. So now here you are. Congrats to you. Thank you so much. The last time I saw you, I was still a top 12 finalist. Yeah. <laughs> and now you are the one. I'm the one. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Congratulations. You so and how's it been so far? I mean, what is it? Not even a month yet. It's three weeks. It's, it's three just weeks. under a month. It's yeah. been an amazing journey. I'm really honored to obviously be a part of the whole initiative here today and to be a part of the Miss South Africa brand. Yeah, yeah. I'm sure. I'm sure it is wearing this with pride. But also not forgetting where you come from, yes. because wherever you go, we're going to remind you because behind us, we have your old school. Yes. So this is the school you went to. Silver Oaks, right? Silver Oaks. Yeah. So you, you matriculated from here? I did. In 2008, I was a matriculant at Silver Oaks. I was also on the RCL team, so I think I did pretty well. You did? Yes, they, they must follow in my footsteps. What, what's the RCL team? So re representative council of learners. Okay. So you, you represent the school at events like this, and you obviously just make the school look really good on yeah. paper. Right. <laughs> so the, you guys are from the RCL? Yeah. All right, so you're making the school look good. <laughs> All right, well, you behave yourselves then. <laughs> okay, no one do funny things behind me while we're here. Now, I, I, another lady that has done so much for Eldorado Park, because Eldo seems to be the center at the moment, get, 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 getting lots of attention. You brought it into the spotlight for, for all the wrong reasons, because you were highlighting the problems associated. I know the problems are still there. But I just think seeing the good coming out now is perhaps changing morale in there, is it? No, definitely, Anne. A wave of positivity has just swept over our community. Everyone's just feeling so inspired and so uplifted. Yeah. We are extremely proud of Liesl. You know, she has just showcased to the rest of the youth in our community that it is possible, despite your background, despite where you come from, we can make a difference. Yeah. And that is why we're here today, to be part of the bigger picture and to uh, highlight the legacy of Madiva. Now, let me just inform viewers. I mean, not that I'm sure I need to introduce you, but just in case, you know, Delian was was the lady who brought her personal plight and made it a public plight and a public plea to the president about drug abuse. And, and it was your son that, of course, was abusing drugs. I'm, I'm not sure how it is now. But the president heeded your call and he came to visit El Dorado Park. Um, drugs still a major issue, no doubt. 
yes, definitely. We still need to change the mindsets of many South Africans. A drug addiction is the only a d- disease that our kids get locked up for having, that our kids get put out of their homes for having. You know, it's time that we also start highlighting that yellow ribbon and start creating more awareness throughout South Africa. We need to open up our hospitals. We need to put policies in place that speaks to drug addiction. We need to have the same attitude and approach like we had with the AIDS pandemic. You know, we need to go out there and educate people on, on the signs, on the symptoms of addiction. Yeah. All right. So now let's get to the, the, the cause at hand here because you're all here for a common cause. Um, El Dorados, you coming here and you bring in blankets? Yes. Yes, we brought some How many blankets. <laughs> we brought quite a few. We oh, brought great. about oh. 20. That's great. That's <laughs> I had amazing. help from my mom, yes. So we've been very busy knitting and crocheting all week. So we're excited to be part of the bigger picture, to be part of the change, putting our country out there on the map, you know, just we we excited and it's also nice to to give these kids the school kids another hobby something else to concentrate on and not to go into the streets and cause problems absolutely i mean today's trip is all about cultivating our learners minds you know showing them that there's more to life than just drugs i mean for many of them it's their first trip out to the union buildings wow. to many of them seeing our great legend over here it's wow. just it's an amazing day i'm so excited i don't blame you and so excited you should be i'm going to talk to some of them in a short while as well all right, voter. Now you actually donated wool because you also don't have time. I know, I know. I mean, I can't imagine where I would find you knitting. Have you well, knitted? You have. Well, actually, I went uh, to the SOS Children's Villages last week, and I donated some wool and some needles, and we we spent the afternoon knitting with them. Okay. And um, yeah, so you did knit. I did. And you I do did. know how to knit. I do. I I learned, and I and I also started teaching them how oh, to. Okay. Well <laughs> All done. in the same afternoon it was a big afternoon for me so yeah they are doing beautiful work you know the SOS children's villages do absolutely they take abandoned um, and kids without parents and give them a loving family home so it's so beautiful to see these kids now knitting for other underprivileged uh, people so it's, fantastic. It's, it's just a beautiful idea and they actually they've just got started so they're going to be carrying on past today because this is well, this is a long-term project yes. and I think that'll show that it's carrying on yeah that's what's important is that I mean as much as this is the the culmination yeah. and it's almost like reaching the summit yeah. but but there's just a lot more hard work to do when you reach that summit exactly. because it can't end here yeah. this is where it has to carry on so I'm glad that this yeah. is just a start for them and yeah. for for the journey ahead yeah, I, I gave them lots of wool so they have a lot of work to do. (laughs) Liesl do you know how to knit? I did learn a little bit. I must say the the block that I knitted as a top 12 finalist it's not the best piece ever but a little bit counts so yes. (laughs) Every bit counts. Okay okay so what I'm gathering here is you knitted a block. Did you knit a blanket though? No each finalist knitted a block and we created a blanket because yes. So it's here it's somewhere lying here. Somewhere here we gave it in a a long time ago we were on a time budget for ourselves we told each other by Friday we need to be done with this because we were only together for a week at that point and then we made our blankets it's fantastic each of the girls helped each other we showed each other some girls could crochet better some girls could knit I couldn't knit at all but after that week I knitted my block that is fantastic so you now have a new talent Absolutely. so maybe if you enter like a you know when when you're at the Miss World you could and they have you have to show your talent I don't think they do that anymore do they I think they still do they do so you could sit on a chair and knit knit. (laughs) I don't think that will show much about my country I'd much rather dance or do something else. But yes, I can tell them that I've also been taught how to knit because of great initiatives like this. Exactly. Well, I'm just trying to. I'm, I'm just trying to figure out where we're going to use this knitting skill. Well, okay, we'll use it much later on in life. But listen, I mean, you're going to carry on with something like this. I know, as Miss South Africa, you've got so many causes and so many things that you need to do. But an initiative like this would it be something that you would continue supporting? Absolutely. Initiatives like this it shows, um, like we said, it doesn't matter where you come from, where you you're going it helps little girls it helps um, older people to obviously give back to the community give back to the country and like Tata said it's in, it's in our hands and with initiatives like this it really is in our hands yeah. it really is it really is and it's a beautiful way when we talk about in our hands it's our hands that made this what was it like for you because I want to talk to these these do you want to walk across with me in these beautiful hills don't fall <laughs> um, what was it like for you the first time you went back to Eldos? Back home. what wow. was it like 
it was so humbling. The streets were closed off, nobody could go anywhere. Yeah. And everyone just lined up in the streets and created a God of honor for me. And that was so amazing. I was in tears many times and I just felt like, wow, we really came together as a community, as a country, just showing that we really are about love, honor and respect yeah. here in South Africa. All right. So let's ask these young, young girls and guys what it was like. I mean, when you heard that Lisa was Miss South Africa and she came from Eldorado Park, what happened in Eldos that night? Was there a big party? Was there like, um, what happened? What happened? Tell me. What it was really amazing. Everyone like came out. We, uh, when we like saw that she was the new Miss South Africa, we were like amazed a lot actually. And then we were like, wanted to see her. This immediately when she arrived, we wanted to see her where she was. And we waited, even though it was at night, we waited for her to see her. It was amazing actually. It was a huge surprise seeing someone from Eldos representing us out there. It was really great. And it's good to think good things coming out of Eldos as opposed to always reading about negative things, right? And that's what's important is to do good. Yes. Am I right? Yeah, yeah it's right. Uh, everyone who was also indulged in sport activities will go off the grounds, leave the, uh, in the middle of a soccer game to go and, and see Miss South Africa. Actually, uh, as we all know, she's from uh, Eldorado Park. Yeah. As she was representing all the schools in Eldorado Park. She was born there, she grew up there, she attended school there. So she was uh, like opening doors for us. We are as the youth leaders to go up there because as far as I know, I'm the leader of my own destination. Yeah. I, and there's a destiny I need to complete in life. And that's schooling and get better information about my that's career. Fantastic. What, what wise words. How nice. <laughs> what wise how words. It's got to make you put your head on a pillow at night and feel proud of yourself. Absolutely. That's beautiful. That's really beautiful. <laughs> and look at this. You brought this from Aldo's and it's going to a good cause, yeah? Yes. Well done to all of you. Oh, thank you so much well for watching. It, hasn't this been a beautiful program? I have really enjoyed it today. I needed it. Never mind you. I don't know what you needed, but I needed this. I needed to feel that South Africans are still that amazing nation that we all know. And uh, I just have to, I have to thank everybody for coming out and for the great work that they've done here today. Uh, to my guests as well, everyone vote. I mean, for your generosity, Liesl, Delian, everyone from Eldos, everyone. I don't know. We can just thank everyone. It's just a happy feeling here today. Um, continue to knit. Remember, Celsi offices, I think that's where you can drop them off and that's where you'll be able to uh, be able to leave your blankets if you still have them well that's it from the union buildings thanks for watching god bless all of you have a wonderful day will you shop shop with me everyone one two three shop shop, shop, shop.